guys, welcome back to another episode of Firewatch. Sorry you guys haven't played this game in a bit, but I've been a little bit busy lately and I've been making other videos, so this got put aside for the moment. But, we're here again with some more Firewatch. So, let's get into it again. I think we're still trying to get to that thin column of smoke. And the game's actually running a bit better this time. Which I'm surprised because it's at... I thought I was going to say, never mind. It's actually at... Small resolution. Small HD. Jump! Jump! So the game's actually running quite well. So... Yeah, lovely music. And also... I just had dinner with my parents a couple of minutes ago and some family members and I got a sweet gaming mouse. Um, it's wired so... Which, I hate cords because they tangle and whatnot. But, it's a good mouse because um, it doesn't cause any delays between um, the computer and the mouse itself when you move it. So, that's good because wires, wireless mouse Else's wireless mice. Um, they take a little bit delay when you play games, but if you have a wired one, I suggest you use it because it doesn't cause any delays at all, which is good because I love not having delays when I'm playing games. <laughs> it's been a few couple of cases where I've um, played a game and. Where's that? Oh, God damn it. I shouldn't really shout in the mic like that, should I? I couldn't climb through here. Well, I can't. Okay. I thought I could clear it, but whatever. Oh, wrong button. If. No, R is run for some reason. Where are we trying to get to? Um, I forgot. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, campfire spoke, so we need a head. Right, right. <laughs> Literally. Do I ever check this? Yeah, I have. Oh, candy bar. Eat. in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Ah, uh, wrong way. You go back. Up here, maybe? Yeah, you were drunk. Um. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Okay. Hey, I'm at the medicine wheel, and I can't see the smoke anymore. Where am I headed again? Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Yeah. Okay, heading over there now. I know. <laughs> um, oh. Let me go down Cripple Gulch. Um, so, I was actually heading the right way. But hey, it's explorative. It's open world. Why not explore? See what the surroundings have for you. I love open world games where you just run around and just. Um. In high. In high quality games like this one. I love open world games like this because you can run around and explore, and that's what I like about games. Because. I just do. <laughs> I'm down by Cripple Gulch. You ready to give it another shot? 
Do I seriously have to? Yes, you, you down do. to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. No. Uh. <laughs> Cheer up, Henry. Nope. Hey, remember the character's name. Please don't snap. Please don't snap. Please don't snap. Are we good? We're good. Hey, he didn't snap. <laughs> that must have been a really old rope in that cat cash box when you first started this episode. Ah, uh, series. FPS is going to be better than that, yeah. Um, is it this way? It is this way. Uh, so far, so good on the CPU. Lots of memory. This is lagging a little bit. I know the greatest graphics card, as I said. So. But anyway, I'm not going to go on about the desktop computer because I just said that like three times. <laughs> I said stuff about that could be like three times. I'm pretty sure you guys don't need to hear it again. What are you going to do when Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. Yep. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just clear up some memory here. With All right. her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents... I, uh... think they always thought she could do better. And... that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. We should go visit her, Henry. Be a nice thing to do. I'm near it. Oh, I'm getting close. Cash. Cash. I think it's cash box. I used to say catchy. <laughs> I don't know why I don't question. Um, yeah, I used, to, I used to say cat, um, catchy for some reason. I don't know why, but I soon learned that that wasn't the right, um, way to pronounce it, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, pine cones, what's this? How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare, because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. He was in the army. Uh, he was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Thanks, Delilah. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Aha! Stop littering the place. Whoever you are. Oh, it's deeper than I thought. Alright, let's keep moving. We're getting close, according to Delilah. Um, you might hear the volume, uh, volume. You may hear the sound cut out, just like it did in Alien Isolation. Sorry about that. Um. But, it's not terrible. It's not doing it 
like, you know, all the time. Just doing it occasionally. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. <sighs> yeah, be torn fabric. Ahaha. <laughs> Why can't I pick that up? I don't want to have this place littered. It's a nice place. Save the game. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Yeah. It's four cases of beer? Um, I don't see four cases, I see one. Bye. I have entered the teen zone. Those are my sheets! Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. These girls have a full case know. of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is Whoa. some dedication. Jesus, the I found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Okay. As you wish, Delilah. That sounded awkward. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. I hope you are fooping happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us at the lake and then came and destroyed our camps. Oh, sure, you freaking liars. Destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and the city panties is gross out. Uh, the panties were left there. So, you're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so gone to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Um, anyway, so they've gone to talk to police apparently. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, <laughs> did you? Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. 
Okay. Day three. Why can't Minecraft run this well? I mean, it's not that the higher quality. It's a good game. Good game. I'm not questioning the developer's game, but... Oh, it just sucks. This runs so well right now. For some reason. Find boards are patched downstairs. Find boards downstairs patch window. Okay. Okay. Where's the boards? Hey, Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's uh -huh. too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. Not and creepy. maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? <laughs> now this can't be that hard. Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. <laughs> mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... Hmm. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. Alright. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh... <laughs> don't... Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. I forgot I had the turtle. Look at about that. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Weird. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. <laughs> What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Tur Reynolds. I forgot I had that turtle. He's so cute and adorable. Turtle, tortoise, whatever. What, were you upset that I was talking about you? I'm spazzing out. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Okay. Well... May just go for a little couple more minutes, guys, and I have to finish up because it is getting quite late again. It's way past half past ten this time. So, yeah. Couple more minutes. I need a sandwich. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh, I call off with some bad news. 
Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh, great. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me. You know that. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, okay. That was very short. All right. Oh, god damn it. Why do I keep bumping every single thing? All right, guys. Actually, three. Three more minutes, and I have to finish up. Because it's getting quite late. I'm getting quite tired. Henry. Henry, wake up. What? Hello, Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Yeah, chill, woman. What do you want? Whoa. Hey, you big dumb idiot. Julia! Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, well, that's good. Then. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. It's the first time. In this playthrough, I've talked to Julia. We've talked to, not me. You know, Henry and I. Even though I'm playing him as a character. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was two very short days. <sighs> and I did get some more progress done. I may stream this tomorrow if I have time. If the weather isn't so crap. Because it is said... It is supposed to be gales tomorrow. Which will suck. Because maybe we will not have any power. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well... <laughs> I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find a supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and... I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> okay. Alright, guys, I'm going to end this episode here, so, you guys. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and yes. all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted creepy? to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. I knew that was going to be Christian. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. 
He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. Are you done? I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I just <coughs> lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. That's bad. I feel really sorry for Delilah. With the breakup. I also feel sorry for Javier. If that's how you say it. With his brother. That's quite bad. Um, but anyways guys, I hope they've finished talking. Um, but anyways guys, I'm going to end this episode here. If you liked, give it a thumbs up down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>